I'm going to talk about the Excel Dex desktop app and just introduce you to a quick kind of intermediate type of software package that you can actually apply to Excel. This ties into formulas and functions from the standpoint of if we go under more functions, you may often be asked to do some sort of statistical uh, application here. Again, as I said for this week, you don't have to know exactly what each of these do. You may just be asked by somebody to, you know, for, insta for instance, doing a, a chi-square. You don't need to know what it does. Excel will help you as far as working through the function, but you may have to apply it. The thing is, though, especially when it comes to statistics and even the engineering areas, the baseline Excel does not actually list out all different options that you have available to you to actually go through and complete. For instance, from a statistical standpoint, we have something that is called an ANOVA. That actually isn't listed here at all. However, you can access additional functions through data and setting this up in your options. To do this and to turn this on, this comes pre-installed with Excel on the desktop. However, it's not turned on automatically. You need to go in and turn it on. Under the Files section, where you can choose as far as your different options here, all the way down in the lower left-hand corner, you have Options. Under the Excel Options window, there's an Add-in section. Here you can see a bunch of the different uh, options here as far as different types of add-ins that were downloaded with Excel that might not be turned on. To turn on some of these add-ins, down at the very bottom of the area here, you have an Excel add-in section. If you click on Go, it's going to open this add-ins area. Oftentimes, me personally, because I do a lot of statistical analysis, I do automatically turn on the tool pack and the tool pack for Visual Basic. As long as you check them, and just say OK, you're going to refresh for a second and then they're added into Excel. The only thing catch here is these are added under data, not the formula section. It will not populate as far as your statistical options here. Instead, what you will need to do is go under data and all the way at the end here, you're now going to have a data analysis section that if you click on this, it's going to bring up a brand new window for you. And here now you can see I have a lot of additional statistical options, including, for example, the ANOVA and the F-test and some of the more, and the T-tests, some of the more higher end statistical analyses. So I just wanted to draw that to everybody's attention. This to me is more of like kind of an intermediate type of item, so it's not required for the course. However, it's good to know that it's there just in case you're ever working on a team or you're doing data for somebody in Excel and they say, well, can you run a t-test on this? We can do those type of statistics, except it's an add-in in the Excel program and you're going to need to just actually turn it on whenever you're working in your options.